Hey, it's Dr. Jack Wolfson, board certified cardiologist. And I wanna tell you about something that is a hidden cause of cardiovascular disease, maybe even all disease, because this particular thing stimulates the immune system. In a recent article in Current Opinions and Rheumatology, they discussed how silicone breast implants can lead to autoimmune disease, can lead to inflammation. So what I'm here to tell you is that I've seen many cases like this. I've seen a situation where a woman comes in, we take a full history. The history she tells us is that she has fatigue. <clears throat> she's got aches and pains. She's got heart palpitations. She's got a lot of different issues going on. So in the history that I take, I always ask about plastic surgery, specifically about breast implants. Now, this particular woman, she went to have her breast implants removed by a qualified surgeon who specializes in this area, and now her symptoms are resolved. So can silicone breast implants cause your atrial fibrillation, cardiomyopathy, high blood pressure, heart attacks? Can the breast implants cause cancer, diabetes, brain disease, dementia, or just feelings of brain fog, lethargy, and fatigue? Well, recently there was women who went and lobbied Congress for stronger warnings and even calling for bans on this cosmetic surgery. Now what's happening of course, is that so many young women are going to have this done and they are not informed of the risks of how the breast implants can lead to illness. I suggest you check out another website, healingbreastimplantillness.com. They've got thousands of women sharing their stories. We have another patient and who's actually become a close friend of ours. And she was having symptoms and she was having complaints of aches and pains and weight gain and brain fog. And then we discussed how it was possibly the breast implants. We did a detoxification plan for her before and after. So she was under our care. We did the most advanced testing in the world and really helped to guide her through the surgery when she did have the removal and now she's doing great. So again, number one, think twice before you get breast implants. Number two, let's come up with a good plan to how to get the breast implants out of you, how you can find a good surgeon. And again, do this the right way. So we'll also have you contact one of our health coaches and a free health coaching call can help guide you through this whole process. So. Go to our website, get a free health coaching call, and let's get you back on the path to health and wellness.